Hello, my dears. Welcome to your card of the day, March 26th. Happiest of birthday to the March 26th babies out there. This is for the next 24 hours. I know depending on where you are in the world, it might not be March 26th when this loads. Or you may happen to catch it at a completely different day. You're going to find it when you're meant to find it. And we're setting the intention for the next 24 hours from whenever you see this video. I do have a story for you guys at the end for my OGs. I know a lot of you are just like, lady, give us the card and shut up. And so I'm going to do that. But stick around at the end for those of you who like the stories or who want to hear an extra message. We have the King of Pentacles. Ha 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 ha. Now, I know a lot of people are used to watching Tarot for Love and Romance. And so they're used to uh, seeing the court cards strictly as an outside person or an outside uh, person coming into the situation. And so this can be an earth sign person, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Uh, it could be you focusing on those aspects of your life if you have those placements. However, welcome to my channel if you're new here. I like to focus on you, okay? I do love reading separate, and then I like to focus in the dailies and the weeklies about you. I want it to be about you and your journey. And so the King of Pentacles comes up with the message for us that this is the time in which the works of our hands are blessed. This is the Midas touch kind of energy. This is the time for you to strike. This is the time when you're going to have good progress with the things that you're making, with the things that you're trying to put together. Some of you might be feeling a lot of inspired energy, uh, you know, as we're regaining energy for those of us that that last full moon really kind of kicked our little behinds. Uh, some of us are just barely kind of getting our energy back, but there may be this boost or burst of inspiration that's coming along with it. You might have a lot of ideas. And Spirit is saying, don't wait too long. Don't procrastinate too long. This is the energy to get going. Because that what you're putting out there is going to have positive results for you. It's going to have blessings. It's going to it's gonna produce profits. Now, a lot of you have heard me say I kind of have a special relationship with the King of Pentacles. Every tarot card has certain... Uh, every tarot reader has certain cards that have a little extra meaning for them. And King of Pentacles is one of those cards for me. One of the things I've come to see about this card when it comes up in my readings, when I'm reading for people or for myself, there is an opportunity coming your way. Or it could be even a business venture. Because at the heart of my story with the King of Pentacles, he came to me. When I began doing tarot or I put, I put myself out there to do tarot. The first card I ever pulled my, for myself was King of Pentacles. The first time I ever touched a tarot deck, first time I ever pulled a card and it was around like, am I going to do this or why am I here? And so this card comes up to me to say that you think that you're not ready for this. You think that this is something that you would love to do, but that you're not good enough to do it. Okay, it could be a job offer. It could be a chance to move. Maybe you're being offered a place and you're like, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it up. I don't know if I'm ready. Right. Um, it could be a relationship with a really healthy uh, person with a really nice, stable, grounded person. It could be a promotion. It could be all kinds of things. It could be a business venture. And you may be saying to yourself, this sounds wonderful, but I think this is being offered to me because maybe I left way too good of an impression and they think I'm better than I actually am. But once they get around me enough, they're going to be like, eh, I don't like this person or we made a mistake. And that's not the case. That's the imposter syndrome talking. Okay. That is the part of you that has this fear that you're going to be found out to be uh, this terrible person and that's negative ego that's fear-based it's not it's not accurate if you weren't ready for the opportunity it wouldn't be here now it's here now because you are ready for it okay so you can have faith in yourself and you can trust in yourself to succeed a lot of people always say how come i never get any help 
I pray for help. I beg for help. I do affirmations. I do meditations. And my life is always the same. I'm always stuck in a rut. Why can't I hear my angels? Why don't my guides bring me messages? Guess what, my dears? Guess what, my darlings? Your prayers are answered. Your guidance comes to you through ideas and through your gut feelings. It is up to us to take action on those ideas. Now, negative ego will always jump in and tell us that's a stupid idea. That's not going to work. That's, you're an idiot for thinking that. And the negative ego will give us all the reasons why this idea is not going to work in order to stop us. But this is an opportunity to really be very well prepared. Negative ego doesn't realize it's giving us a gift because negative ego may give us some real possible challenges to discourage us because negative ego hates change even when change is good. We can use this as a gift. All right, negative ego, fair enough. Those are truthfully challenges that I might face. Those are things that might actually happen. Okay, so how can I prepare for that? How can I think ahead? What are some steps that I might be able to take to prevent those things from happening? And what are some safety nets I can put in place, a plan B or a plan C, in case these things do actually happen? Then you have a foolproof plan. Then you're ready to succeed, right? Um, uh, what is that scripture about the... It, this applies to you too, guys. Don't get offended. I'm not like trying to be all only talking to the ladies, but uh, th there's a scripture in Proverbs. I think it's Proverbs 23 talking about the capable wife. And it says, uh, she laughs without fear of the future, right? Like she's ready. She's like, bring it, right? This is for the guys too. This is for the single people too. You don't have to be a wife. You don't have to be a husband. But it's that sense of like laughing without fear of the future. You're laughing in the face of the future because you know you, you have it. You can handle it. You're ready for it. You're in that flow. So even when the negative ego is coming up and trying to freak you out, it's a gift. It's a gift to be well prepared. Okay? Now the story. <laughs> a lot of you have heard me talk a lot and I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys where you're like, I needed to hear that. Because a lot of you feel very moved by spirit to reach people and to help people, but you don't see yourself as like an energy healer or a tarot reader or a, like a spiritual, uh, you know, leader, like, you know, leading a church or something, but you know, you feel moved to help in some way. And I've said this time and time again, light workers, healers, they come to us in every capacity, in every profession. And I've given you the example of my good friend, one of my closest friends. She's an amazing makeup artist, an amazing hairstylist. Uh, and people don't realize they come and they sit in her chair and they're getting a healing session. She is a healer, right? And so I've given that example. We, we're healing in the capacity, whatever capacity it is in which we're interacting with people. You know, you don't have to be someone who is, you know, uh, like, like a stereotypical, you know, metaphysical looking person or spiritual looking person when people have stereo stereotypes in their head. We're not fulfilling, we're not all fulfilling a stereotype. So I had a very, very magical moment happen for me that I just want to share with you guys. A lot of you know I've been taking some time and I've been writing about my story, my life, because I want to share it with you guys. And a lot of you know that I'm on my own healing journey, okay? And a lot of you have heard me talk about the shadow flame. And I'm still releasing my shadow flame experience and I've been carrying a devastatingly broken heart. For the past 10 years and I've been releasing it in stages because it's been such a massive hit it's been such a massive situation and you guys have heard me talk about healing through music releasing through music and Leonard Cohen's hallelujah um, is a big big part of my process or like a very special song to me in this process and when I stumbled upon someone that did a version of it that like lifts the spirit. It's it, it, it it's it's a sad song, but
but then it comes into hope, it comes into joy, like I felt it in my soul, and then they just happened to be playing right near where I was, and I got to go see this person perform, and they were kind enough to do the song for me, I walked up to him and I asked him to do his version, and he did, and I recorded it, and I put it in, I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video, I'm gonna put the link to the version that I recorded that I saw live and I'm going to put a link to the version that uh, he recorded that I saw that made me discover him and then the live version I'm so annoyed because you just hear all these people talking you know like it's it's like an old you know old timey saloon and so people are having drinks and eating and they're talking and here this guy is like doing this amazing performance and a lot of people like they they don't even hear it but for me, it was like everything, like he held space for me, a complete stranger held space for me to release a very difficult thing. And I'm used to giving healing, I'm not used to receiving healing. And I'm like, what are the odds that I would meet this angel in this way? Like, it it, it seems so small, but it was it was so helpful for me. And hopefully, hopefully, it can be helpful for you. But I share this with you to say, you might think people aren't listening, right? Like this guy is there performing, everybody's talking, I recorded it. You might think nobody's hearing, but I cannot explain what a gift that song was for me and how much it impacted me and how much it helped me and how much it filled my cup so that I can keep filling your guys' cups, right? It, it was a very special moment for me. So this is what I mean when I say don't, measure how good you are at what you do by how much money you're making from it or how many followers you have or you know how much clout you have or if you're famous or you're not famous focus on the joy of what it is that you're doing be in the joy of doing it and focus on those that you do connect with focus in, in the magic that you're bringing to that moment that is the true measure of success. And the universe will always provide for us when we're in that energy. When we're doing what we feel led to do, when we're doing what comes natural to us to do in terms of what we want to put out there into the world. We're in the flow. Just like the animals have their little ecosystems, you know, we're the ones that get disconnected from that, we humans. We, we overly complicate it. But the animals fulfill their function and they're taken care of and they're in their abundance. It's us humans that complicate it. So I'm going to share uh, the links in the description. Uh, I hope you guys will check it out. Uh, you know, show him some love. You know, he, he's, he's on Facebook and uh, Spotify and uh, you know, uh, YouTube channel, subscribe. If you feel moved to send him a little donation, I have links for that in the live version that I recorded. If you want to send him a little something, um, if you feel moved to do that, but I cannot tell you what a, 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 a powerful moment that was for me. And I just want to share it for you guys, because I want you to know that you do that as well, but you don't know because the people don't tell you right? If I didn't say it, you guys wouldn't know how much it impacted me. And I shared with him w what I posted. And I'm not sure if he'll have time to look at it or if he'll understand how much it impacted me. But it really, really did. Okay, so we're all fulfilling our mission. We're all reaching each other. We're all helping each other. Never underestimate your craft. Never underestimate what you're putting out there. You have no idea how impactful you are. So I just wanted to share that little story there with you guys. Uh, if you want to schedule a private reading with me, link is in the description, calendly.com slash amethystangelite. Weekly forecasts are linked in the description. You'll be seeing weekly forecasts for the coming week popping up and April love readings popping up. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful day ahead. Take care, my dears.